It can go fast, especially considering there are no fossil fuels involved here. This motor is 100% electric, and it can reach speeds of almost 100 kilometers per hour. Waves without the noise. It's now a reality. Look, we can speak easily without loading, and it's uh, so peaceful. We want to respect the environment, and this is why we're developing unique powertrain, electric powertrain for 20 to 24 feet long boats. Uh, it's not only an electric outboard, it's a, an entire powertrain. But could electric boats become the future of the industry? The team at Vision Marine Technologies believes so. They created the E-Motion 180, the first electric boat engine to use lithium batteries that can be recharged overnight. No more low horsepower engines and batteries that leave no space for boat guests. Well, and I can confirm that this new technology is truly noiseless, smokeless, and odorless. It's the first time that I've conducted an interview on a boat, and I did not have to ask the captain to turn off the motor. How much for the smaller engine that could power a boat like this one? The entire powertrain is provided for 80,000 US dollar. That's a lot of money. Correct, but you have to compare that to refill, you only need four dollars. Compared to a tank, you want to refill for maybe 130, 150 dollars for the same thing. So it's quite valuable after a while, and after many months, it's quite cheap compared to a IC engine solution. The publicly traded Canadian company generated buzz at Miami's boat show for both fans and skeptics. The quietness is good, you know, no fuel, you know, plugged in, pretty nice. I've been over on Balboa Island in California and they have a lot of little, little electric boats cruising around the bay. Seem to be very efficient. I've seen how much money the U.S. government and I would say global governments have put into electric and how little the payoff has been. And I don't see it as the future. I just don't think it's sustainable. Other companies like Exshore and Candela, both based in Sweden, are also riding the electric motor wave, especially in Europe, where restrictions are increasingly limiting use of gas-powered pleasure boats. As for here in the U.S., experts believe more advances are needed before the masses will jump on the electric wave. The battery packs are very expensive. That alters the price points of comparison to what we have to what's coming. That has to adjust itself. Um, secondary is usage. When you have a battery, you can if you start to ride it, it gives you a certain distance when you do full throttle versus half throttle versus slow throttle. Um, so the combination on the hybrid and using a generator is being considered into it. But if you're still doing that, you're still adding the fuel. The key is to walk away from fuel completely. So that's still being worked on. Just like with electric cars, it might take some time for users and enthusiasts to get on board. But with the added horsepower and limited environmental impact, it's hard to say no to a more pleasant boating experience. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.